I am actually choosing to pursue another goal in my life that does relate to public service, and that is my education. I'm going to finish my, my doctorate. I'm completed with the schoolwork and the comprehensive exams, but I do need to focus on my dissertation right now. And the reason why I say that it's part of my public service is because the topic is actually about women and getting engaged in their government and in their community and politically. And so I, I would like to take a, a break and do a deep dive on my academic work right now. Mm -hmm. The Speaker of the House obviously is a woman. You were the first minority leader who was a woman. Uh -huh. um, and yet there are still so few women in the state legislature. What's it going to take to motivate more women to get involved in political office? Well, in, in large part, it's showing that other women have done it. Research out of Rutgers in particular, the, the Center for Women in, in Politics has demonstrated that women really like to see other women in those leadership roles. They don't automatically, they're not automatically born with this sense that they can do things. And so they need to be able to see that behavior. And I'm glad to have been somebody to, who could have shown that example. Did that give you some pause, knowing that there aren't very many women filling these seats? Did that I've had to think a lot about it. I mean, one, because it's a responsibility to the community that I'm honored to, to serve, and I've taken that responsibility very, very seriously. Um, also, a responsibility to the state at large. And then, I, I like doing this. I feel like I've gotten in a good groove and that I have been successful in, in this endeavor. But I think it's also paramount, Jennifer, to remember that in a, in a democracy, it is about encouraging other people to get involved. This is not my seat. It's borrowed for a particular amount of time. And where I will judge my success is if the people that come after me are better than I ever was. Because what that means is that I have provided greater opportunities to, from people to learn from me. So what are the highlights for you? What, what do you feel like you've been able to contribute? Um, one, I think being who I am, from being from the great neighborhoods in the northwest quadrant of Salt Lake City and Rose Park, yay, and being able to represent that area to the other people across the state here in our legislative body, and I've been very, very proud to do that. I'm also very proud with the um, relationships that I've been able to build around issues such as domestic violence, prevention, crime victim help, human trafficking prevention. These are issues that have meant the, the world to me. And I have fought hard for public policy that, that addresses those issues. And I've been successful in those areas.